YouTube, Murph392 here. Uh, in my last video, we did the cold air intake install for the uh, the 16 scat pack. So now we're gonna be doing something else. The taser, it came in. Um, this is just gonna be a quick little guide about like what to do, how to install it, and then also on how um, the different modes and everything that you can do. So I'm just gonna be setting up my scat pack the way that I want it to. Um, so this is just kind of like a little quick how-to guide. Uh, it'll show you all the menu options of everything that this can do. But we're gonna go plug this into the OBD, OBD2 port and we're gonna get started. Sound good? Cool. All right, I have successfully put it into the OBD2 port. Not that hard. Um, if you have a manual, the OBD2 port's basically right where your foot for the clutch is. Um, it's up in the dash. If you don't have a manual, wherever the clutch, wherever you think the clutch would be, it's probably where it is, off to the left of the brake pedal. Um, okay, cool, so I have my wife's cell phone here, uh, because I'm filming on mine, um, but here it has like all of the instructions on what to do, kosher. So basically, I'm gonna go through all that. All right, so right there. It says, blah, 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 blah. Taser can be left plugged in as many of its features only worked as plugged in. That right there is a big thing. Some people think that you can unplug the taser. Um, you can, it's fine, but a lot of stuff only works with it plugged in, so keep it plugged in. Um, taser will go to sleep by itself after 30 minutes. Is there anything else for pre? 19, 18 models installed is plugging it in, right? You need the double bypass for 18 and up. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. Um, so I just updated this. I am now running 2.4.5, which is the newest one. Um, if you're running firmware lower, then, then must return all vehicle settings stock manually for updating blah 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 okay so i didn't do anything so i don't need to return anything to anything all right 2015 2020 started 300 for all features evic evic needs to be in a state showing the audio screen okay cool so we're going to turn this to run it looks like yeah all right and sorry about that as soon as i turn the car into run my phone wanted to connect over and it stopped the video. Okay, so it says that it needs it to go to the audio screen. So let's go to the audio screen. Taser fail. Standby. All right, we're back. I think I fixed it. Uh, the update that I had for some reason wasn't agreeing with it. So let's let's go through this, huh? Here. All right. Okay. Cool. So if you go here, go to audio. What you're gonna want to do. See, I already pressed it, so here I am. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the left arrow like this, and then the cancel button right here, and that's gonna send you through all the different stuff, all right? So let me pull the thing back up real quick. All right. Advance through the menu by continuing to hold the left arrow and tapping the cruise cancel button. Go slowly. Um, so to exit the menu safely, do that and that. Reboot. All right. So let's go from the beginning. I think it's gonna reboot again. Just wanna make sure. All right. So hold left and then cancel. Light show. All right, do we want anything with the light show? 
Uh, I'll mess with that at a different time. Clear cells. No, we don't need to clear our CELs. Mary. Yes, this we want to do. So I think we click. Damn it. I think we click that button. Or is it marrying? All right, so you click the cruise button to select what you want. So we're going to marry the system. Boom, married, beautiful. All right, click the cancel button again, keep going through. Performance, yes, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, SRT, yes. All right, so now we're into the SRT modes. Yes, we want our SRT pages, look at that. Cool. Phone acted weird again. All right. Yes. STP. So this will be no because we don't have paddle shifters. Steering, scat, if we want to move it to, god damn it, to SRT. All right, that's what we want. Okay. Drive mode, we want that to be into SRT. Right. No, that doesn't apply to us because I don't have an automatic transmission. Shift flight. I don't think that's going to work because I don't have an automatic transmission. But we'll turn it on and we'll see what happens. Eco mode. Um, once again, don't know what's going to happen because I don't have an automatic transmission. But we'll turn it on and see. Tire. tire pressure monitoring system I believe I'm going to turn that off just for right now because my I blew a sensor out in one of my tires and now my car won't shut up so base premium or none yeah we'll just go with none okay what's next a2 PSI rear Tire 29. So this is where you get a turn. What about the radio? Camera, yeah. Let's try again. Okay, whatever. Cargo cam, don't got that. Cam grids, yeah, I want that. No, they don't have CD player. Travel link, yeah. Lighting. What's this? Five USA. Canada, USA. All right, I don't know what that was. DRL lock turn. All right, let's just take a look into the other, about what the hell that is. DRL lock turn. You can move, set to tire pressure, monitoring system. Front rear. Okay. Location. Sydney. Dedicated DRL, SRT DRL turns on fogs, high beams, or low beams. So, I guess I don't know exactly what a DRL is, but... Okay, we're going to keep going through here. 
because I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to mess with it. Daryl drop. Drop out. This setting is enabled to make Daryl turn when using turn signal. Oh, this is daytime running lights, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Uh, we're just going to keep those the same of where they are. Fogs, yeah, we're just going to keep that, yeah. Comfort. Comfort for what? What? Splash, scat. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be basic because I really want red gauges, but the only way to do that is I have to have the Hellcat splash page. So that's what we're going to do. Belt ding. I usually almost all the time wear my seat belt. However, the four times that I haven't, the belt ding is the most annoying thing ever. So I am going to turn that off. Easy exit. What's easy exit? Easy exit is a seating option. Once enabled, there will be an option. Turn this feature on and off, which means the driver's seat for easy entry and exit. Oh. Um. Yeah, you know, let's try that. Let's see. I mean, what's the worst that could, what's the worst that could happen? I just turn it off if I don't like it. Okay. Taser 2.44i. Full reboot. No, we're going to get out of there. All right. Maybe we do want the full reboot. What's going on? This did something. Returning in a second. All right, I figured it out what was going on with it. Finally got it back to where uh, I want it to be. So, yeah, no, it's it's great. So now that I have um, the Hellcat splash screen, all of my cages are red, which is what I wanted it to be anyways. Um, this is also gonna be the first drive I have with the, uh, with the cold air intake involved. So, um, just take a look here, like, yeah, look at that. Looks cool. And then, um, so I'm going to turn her off. I got the thing on. Look at that. Hellcat Splash screen with SRT on here. So you missed it, but it did show up. Um, so with me having this thing driving in SRT mode, um, that's one thing I might change because now when I go here to SRT modes, the only two things I can change is traction and steering. I can't, I, I can't even change my engine back and forth between normal and sport anymore. It's just constantly always on sport, which is fine. I don't need it to be anywhere else. But when I go into custom, like the only two things I can change is the steering and the traction. So my custom drive experience right now has my steering and track mode and my traction and sport mode. I own a manual, so like I'm not even like, <laughs> that's just how it is like you can't it, it doesn't do anything else it's that's all it can do oh well i guess you know um <laughs> yeah i i don't know so but anyways yeah that's cool i kind of sort of have an srt now you know if i had a real srt i'd have suspension but this thing isn't hooked up for suspension um what's what's race options let's take a look here oh okay my launch control and uh my shift light see it might actually work i don't know that's cool though so yeah i could put it in valet mode um or eco mode i don't even know if eco mode is gonna work but sure i still take tra i can take traction control off if i if i wanted it to i can put it back down to street 
so but yeah okay and look my challenger's red on here it used to be gray so but um yeah going back to srt pages i mean not a whole lot more is different it's the same thing that's happened as before um but the style of everything is different i guess let's see here climb it off okay let's go to apps let's see here do I... controls i feel like there's something different in here i can reach settings um yeah anyways this is it now so you know whatever <laughs> it's kind of cool you know i get to pretend i have like a uh a real srt but yeah it's cool how like the uh the coolant and the gas gauge is different now too i kind of like that i kind of like the look of the srt stuff more um oh, there's actually i can click drive modes right there interesting cool but yeah i mean i guess if i really wanted to go back down to street What's, what's my default setup? Is I'm just gonna make the default to be completely street all the time. That's gonna be my custom sport, and then obviously track is going to be track. It's a traction level currently unavailable to change. It might just be because of what I have, but um, yeah. So we're gonna try this out. We're gonna see how it is, and I'll get back at a later time. But yeah, until then, uh, thanks for watching. The video um i know there was a couple hiccups with it but it's all good if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh you know leave a comment um subscribe if you want to see more content like this there's only going to be more challenger stuff happening but uh now that we got the cold air intake and the taser it's starting to finally come together a little bit so thank you so much again for watching and until then until next time i'm murph 392 thanks for watching